This section is on sampling. In some sense, the topics we deal with here are the engine room of a lot of statistics you will see in the news. Take, for instance, statistics like this. This comes from uh, Ipsos, which is a institute which does uh, opinion polls. Okay, and that is well, in March 23. And they asked things like, what would be your voting? How would you vote if today was a general election? And this is what it currently says. When you read the small text, the small print in that, you, of course, realize that they haven't asked all voters. In this particular case, let me just check, they have asked 1,004 voters what they would vote. And they present the statistics here. There are some things going on in between, which we're not going to talk about, talk about here. But they are asking a sample of the voting population what they would vote. And then they present this result. Clearly, we are not interested in what these 1,004 people would want to vote. What we are interested in is what the voting proportions would be in the entire voting population. But we are using the information we get from these 1,004 voters to present what we believe to be true about the population. So this link between sample and population is extremely important. And this is what this section is about. Sampling distribution provide the link between sample information and population information. And that's what I mean when I say this is the engine room of most of statistics you see, because that's what a lot of statistics does. We're taking sample information, are we going to use it to try and understand something about the population?